Okay, basically this is an article as a, a year before the Gilgamesh found, believed found article came out. So basically it's talking about that. So we'll just, there we go. Just zip through that. They basically talk about the poem and how they really do believe it's Gilgamesh's tomb that they've located. They talk about the Euphrates. Um, they talk about the mapping. Uh, same uh, archaeologists or um, people mapping are, are, are talked about. And then it goes on to talk about Bush and uh, branded Iraq. They call it the White Temple. Gilgamesh tomb, believe found. You can just look that up yourself. You remember that. Basically confirms everything they said in that article, but they really do believe they found Gilgamesh. But they don't say it. And then we know after, uh, we know the Germans had permission from Saddam Hussein to dig there. And then it talks about the looters, the museum. Again, uh, that they keep showing that uh, the it's called the I think it's called the White Temple. Let's check it out. There it is. Yeah, they call it the White Temple. The the one main thing they pretty much show every they they show it all the time. They talk about Gilgamesh, but they don't say that that's his tomb. It's weird. Here's some of the artifacts. This is an old, uh, this is from uh, Archaeology News. This is some of the artifacts they found there at the site. And now in the Berlin's collection. Can you imagine what else they got? This is interesting. German excavations began in 1912. As resumed. And here's the overhead archaeological map of the site. But uh, in this giant report, basically says the team proceeded uh, through the temples uh, major site on is erosion remains in good condition although termites have attacked wooden shelving in a workroom and plastic bags holding shards have disintegrated the fence surrounding the site has been renewed with Japanese funding in 2006 there's no evident evidence of looting at the site which is protect, protected by 15 SPF Special Protection Force personnel, one of whom arrived to check the presence of the inspection team on the site guard figure. Uh, German institutional system is able to maintain constant payments for the on-guard site. Well, that is interesting, isn't it? But they don't tell anything about the remains. All right, in this picture you can see railway tracks on two, I think it was taken in 2003, so the Germans probably built these tracks, that's what I'm presuming, because I don't think there's any sort of road or anything going out to this site, because it's deserted, it's right out in the middle of the desert. So if they're removing anything, and like, uh, you saw some of the bigger artifacts, so this is probably how they're removing it. The site's protected, you saw the fencing and the guards, the international forces protecting it. Uh, it's, it's a very, very valuable site. And, uh, yeah, all the stuff they gotten out of there, but they never really sort of tell you anything. Like, uh, you go through those, um, 
you can download little bits of information and stuff but uh, it's pretty it's pretty uh, you know they don't show you any real artifacts you know I guess they want the museums want you to go in and and, and pay and see the artifacts and it's just it's frustrating it really is so if anyone can find out information please post it uh, I'd love to know if they ever did find Gilgamesh's if that's in the white temple if that's where they did Gilgamesh's body was or not uh, well I guess we'll never know because they're never gonna tell us have a good day bye